if you carry on like this, it'll be a disaster. For Maria and for Liam as well. Oh, like you care about them. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 soap stars who were fired from their show. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop it, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at infamous times actors were kicked off British soaps for various reasons, but mostly due to drama behind the scenes. Which soap character exit do you wish never happened? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Daniel Harold, EastEnders Beyond a four-year break, Harold has been playing Lola Pierce in EastEnders since 2011 and developed into one of the soap's main focal points. I thought we were friends. We are. Just being friendly. However, she was recently told that her character was being killed off when her contract expires. While reports said she was devastated by the news, she's now looking forward to flexing her talent in other roles. So it's just like being back at the playground with you, innit? You should grow up, Phil. Chris Clenshaw, who was appointed as the Soap's executive producer in 2022, plans to revamp EastEnders, so several characters are set for the chopping block. Unfortunately for Harold, it seems her character won't have the chance to return this time. No! No, I thought we could at least be honest with each other, but we obviously can't. Number 9. Peter Adamson, Coronation Street Adamson is one of the OGs of Coronation Street. From 1961, he was regularly on screen for the Manchester Soap as Len Faircloth. Look, if I want to come in here for a quiet game of darts, that's got nothing to do with you and anybody else, do you get that? Yet, by 1983, that all came crashing down. For starters, he sold behind-the-scenes secrets of the soap to a journalist, which led to him being suspended. But then, allegations came out that he indecently assaulted two minors. He was acquitted at the trial and was left with a massive legal bill. Better late than never. Do you mind if I get through? I'd rather you came outside. What's the matter, Fairclough? You want a match in set or something? <laughs> so, he planned to sell a memoir filled with more backstage secrets to newspapers to pay the bill. Instead, he was sacked for breaching his contract at Coronation Street and his character was slain. Adamson was later declared bankrupt and passed away in 2002. Oh, right, yes, I'll go. <laughs> but just remember this. Don't come crawling back to me when he's chucked you on the scrap heap. Number 8. Chris Fountain, Coronation Street After appearing in Hollyoaks for years and regularly sweeping up at the British Soap Awards, Fountain switched allegiances and joined the cast of Coronation Street as Tommy Duckworth in 2011. Really helpful, thanks. However, in 2013, it was discovered that the identity of a masked rapper called The Phantom, who published videos online and used violent and disgusting lyrics, turned out to be Fountain. With that horrendous publicity, he was unsurprisingly dropped from the show as Tommy made a hasty exit from the cobbled street. Unbelievable, that's right. We get a sandwich from Roy's, anyway, what do you think? No thanks, I'll go with him in it. He quickly apologised for his actions. This incident haunted Fountain for years. He spoke in 2022 about his regrets over doing the distasteful videos and the struggle he's had with getting rules since. It kills me really because that's the stuff that went online is obviously that's no, in no way reflects my feeling towards women. Number 7. Melissa Suffield, EastEnders. In 2004, Suffield walked onto the square as Lucy Beale, as the character became more rebellious as she hit the notorious teen years. Yeah, we went water skiing, got pulled behind a boat on a big banana. But with life imitating art, Suffield found herself in hot water with the EastEnders bosses in 2010, as she was photographed partying at a London club whilst under age at 17 years old. Even though she received an official warning, Suffield went clubbing again two months later and was spotted. You stupid, stupid! Well, trying to help! Well, he thinks I'm a total psycho freak! With the bad publicity and attempting to find a resolution through numerous meetings with her, Suffield was dropped from the soap due to unruly behaviour, which she described as pathetic. What have you said?! Lucy soon vanished on screen, but would appear again in Warford in 2012, looking a tad different with Hetty Bywater taking on the role. Number 6. Asan Najee, Emmerdale. 
After joining the Dales in 2018, the stage was set for Naji to become a standout for Emma Dale as Ellis Chapman. Mm, relax, I'll make some breakfast. Yet during the TV Choice Awards in 2019, where he was nominated for Best Soap Newcomer, he was videoed arguing and attempting to attack Hollyoaks actor Jamie Lomas backstage. <laughs> ITV quickly moved to suspend Naji after the incident went viral. After an investigation, he was sacked and Ellis disappeared from the show for a while. The character later returned with Aaron Anthony taken on the role before departing in 2022. In the aftermath, Naji released a public apology to Emmerdale, ITV, Lomas, the audience and the TV Choice Awards. All right, well, <laughs> point taken. Number five, Mark Anwar. Coronation Street. After being in Weatherfield for two years as Sharif Nazir, Anwar completely wrecked his soap career in 2016 during one evening. If you are looking for a role model, I suggest you look at someone other than your grandfather. In the aftermath of 17 soldiers being slain in Kashmir, Anwar, who has Pakistani heritage, released a load of tweets that contained racially offensive comments about Indian people. While they were later deleted, the damage was done. Anwar was dropped by Coronation Street, his character hastily moved to Newcastle, and even the police were called in to investigate the comments for hate speech. Anwar then released an apology video for what he said, but it was also later deleted. I'm thinking, maybe we should cut our losses. But in 2019, he reportedly did the same thing, when India sent more troops into Kashmir, by sending more inflammatory tweets. That's why you have to keep your mouth shut. Number four, Luke Tittensall, Emma Dale. Daz Eden was a bit of a troublemaker in the Dales. Apparently, so was his actor off screen. I don't care about Granny Clegg, you stupid biker, right? After playing the role of Daz since 2003, the shocking news came out in 2009 that Tittensall, who was 19 at the time, was set to appear in court due to inflicting grievous bodily harm on a 16-year-old. We're supposed to never go out with anyone else! Shut up! No! The injuries sustained by the boy included a fractured jaw that required surgery with screws and a metal plate inserted to repair the damage. Tittensall pleaded guilty to the charges and the Emmerdale fired him as a result. The court sentenced him to 200 hours of unpaid work and to pay £1,000 compensation to the victim. Yeah. Where am I supposed to go? Who cares? I'm going with it! Number 3. Sarah Jane Dunn, Hollyoaks Even though she's had breaks from the role since walking onto the set of Hollyoaks as Mandy Richardson in 1996, Sarah Jane Dunn has been a key figure in the Channel 4 soap. Can I help you? I hope so. But it all came to a head in 2021. At the time, Dunn had set up an account on OnlyFans to share risque images. She stated this decision was about taking back control. However, the Hollyoaks bosses deemed it inappropriate for their target audience. It was an accident. The producers then met with Dunn to discuss her new venture. With the actor unwilling to relent and close it down, the bosses decided to sack her. Fans called Hollyoaks hypocritical as they created racy calendars and stated they would boycott the show until Dunn returns. Let's be adults and cut the cord once and for all. Number two, Leslie Grantham, EastEnders. From the soap's first episode, Grantham was there with Dirty Den Watts, but the character was dramatically assassinated in 1989. After a long break, Grantham returned to the role in 2003. It's me. <laughs> Oh, come on, don't I get a proper hug or what? However, the return would be tarnished only a year later when Grantham was photoshopped exposing himself through a webcam to a woman who turned out to be an undercover reporter. He also insulted several of his co-stars. Another accusation came out that he was also dressed as Captain Hook in some explicit instances with another woman. Some sicko must have really got to you and messed up your head. Grantham apologised afterwards and said he would make a donation to a charity, but it wasn't enough to save his job. Den perished in 2005 after being attacked. This time, it was permanent. <coughs> Number 1. Bruno Langley, Coronation Street In 2001, Langley strutted onto Coronation Street as Todd Grimshaw, 
and had a couple of breaks here and there, but was often involved in dramatic stories. But by 2017, his soap and acting career was demolished. Do you want to know why I'm so messed up? A woman approached ITV and told them Langley had assaulted her at a music venue. After an internal investigation, Langley was fired. Then, the case was investigated by the police and he was charged with multiple assaults. <laughs> Langley pleaded guilty and received a 12-month community order, had to wear a tag, follow a curfew, pay £250 to his victims and be registered for five years. Langley hasn't worked any screen gig since, while Todd returned to the streets in 2020 with Gareth Pierce in the role. Todd! In the flesh and the spirit. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.